Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Todd back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about how I am completely, completely banned now in NBA 2K23, my team. Now, obviously the same message popped up, banned 10 calendar days for buying my team points. Now, we're going to be talking about this. And why I have an issue with this, okay? Now, before we dive any further into it, if you're new to my channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 110,000 subscribers. Now, here's the deal. I don't have an issue with me being banned, okay? If 2K wanted to ban me, I deserved it, okay? I deserve it. Now, do I wish it would have been a shorter ban, more of like a warning ban, considering they haven't banned people for buying MT in like two or three years? Yes, okay? That's the first thing. There's no way a ban should be 10 days right now in my team for something they haven't really enforced in two years. It'd be like, it'd be like this, guys. The speed limit, right, is 65, okay? Now, some people drive 70, 75. There's some people that drive like 70 to 75, and normally if you're like at 71, 72, they're not gonna pull you over. Or maybe it's even higher wherever you're living from, where, wherever, okay? That'd be like tomorrow, Police officers are out in full force. Literally, everybody's working that day at that specific time, and they're pulling every single person that breaks that speed limit threshold over because technically they're breaking the law. Okay? Now, not only that, instead of giving you a warning like, okay, look, we're monitoring this, or even like a, you know, lighter fee, fine, whatever, they're monitoring this, they're saying, no, instead of a, you know, five over fee like they normally do for speeding, they'll give you like a 65 to 70 ticket, you know, it's $100. No, they're giving you 70 to 75, which is a little bit more expensive, and they're making you, you know, making you feel that, okay? Saying you broke the rules, okay? Which you did, but they're making you feel it. I feel like that's what 2K did. And not only that, I'm now banned on next gen. So at first they banned me on current gen, whatever. Okay, they banned me on current gen. That's fine. But they didn't ban me on next gen. And I thought that was purposeful. Okay, I thought it was purposeful because they basically said, you know, you're just banned on current gen, whatever. No, they turned around and banned me on next gen. And people were blaming me. Ty, you said they were banning me on just one gen. Now I bought another 2K and now I'm banned on the other gen. That's not my fault. I'm the one literally that was banned on, on just one and was able to play the other one. I was just telling you guys information that was available to me and, you know, that I thought 2K purposely did. I thought that was maybe their warning, right? Of, okay, we're going to ban you on one, just warning you, you know, we're not going to ban you on the other one, but for now, we're just banning you. But instead, they banned me on one of them at like 1.30 and the other one at 7.40. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? That they're gonna ban me on one gen at this time and the other one at a completely different time. That makes no sense. They're gonna ban one gen and I'm able to play the other gen all day and then all of a sudden on the other gen I'm banned. And it's not like during that time period I bought MT or anything. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't sit right with me. First, yesterday I was fine with the bans because it's like, look, if they're just gonna ban me on one of the gens, that's fine. And honestly, 10 days, yes, it's bad, but if it's just one gen, whatever. No, 10 days is too long. It's too long. I'm going to tell you guys how I feel. For them not enforcing this for two straight years, it feels too, maybe even three straight years. I don't even think in 2K20 they really enforce this. For three straight years, and now they're going to turn around and just ban everybody for 10 days for doing it, right in the middle of Spotlight Sims. It just seems crazy. And again, you guys can blame me all you want for being banned on both gens. They were going to figure it out anyways. And they're eventually going to realize what's going on. But to me, I, I just... I. I feel bad for people that turned around and bought current gen because they were banned on next gen and weren't able to play, and they're blaming me for it. No, 2K should give them a refund, at least in my opinion, because that's not right. That's not right for somebody to be banned and think that they can go play the other gen because they're, you know, one of their favorite content creators said so, and now and now they just waste the money because they're banned on that gen too. That doesn't sit right with me at all, at all, because to me that's basically 2K scamming people. Like, that's just my opinion on it. Okay, and again, this is just me speaking out to truth to you guys. I can get mad at people for saying it's my fault. It's not my fault, but it's 2K's fault. That should not be the case. If you're going to ban somebody, ban them on both gens at the same time. Is that too much to ask for? I'm not, I'm not even trying to start anything, but I'm just saying. If you're going to ban me, ban me at the same time. Unless I did it again, which I didn't. I did not buy any MT from that point forward. So you know what? That's the problem I have with it. The fact that one of my, some of my supporters have literally spent money buying the opposite gen just for them to get banned on that gen. 
that sits wrong with me in a big time way. So that's kind of my problem with it. Uh, and honestly, you know what? Me being banned first, whatever. Okay, that's fine. I'll grab my no money spent for the time being. It is all okay. But what's not okay is the fact that some people literally bought the other gen and then, you know, basically got their money taken from them because they can't play on that gen either. If you're going to ban somebody, ban them on both gens at the exact same time. Otherwise, what is the point? Like, why ban me on one gen and then let me play the other gen for a little while and then turn around and ban me? It just does not sit right with me. It doesn't make sense to me. It's like 2K just went into this whole thing. It's like, yeah, we're just going to ban these people. But say, oh, wait, we got the other gen to worry about. And it's not like they did current gen first and next gen later. Some people was next gen first and current gen later. So it just does not make sense to me at all. If an account is banned, ban them on both at the same exact time. Otherwise, you give people false hope. And that is just an absolute disaster. Like, that's the problem I have with it. It's just an absolute disaster. Now, maybe in yesterday's video, I should have said be careful because they might turn around and ban us. But for me, I, I thought 2K purposefully left one gen unbanned. I thought, because why would they just mistakenly do that? You think 2K is dumb enough to do that? That just doesn't make sense to me. So I thought they, that was kind of their warning of, you know, don't do it. Otherwise, you will literally get banned again. But I guess I, I, I guess I was mistaken. And so for all of you guys, if you guys did buy the opposite gen, I'm sorry. Like from the bottom of my heart, if that happened to you guys and you guys wasted money on the opposite gen because you thought you were going to be unbanned, I am sorry. I really am. Is it my fault? No, but I am really sorry for all of you guys that did that. And I, I, I'm a firm believer that 2K needs to make that right because that is absolutely not okay. Do I deserve to be banned on both gens? Yes. I'm, I'm not playing victim, okay? I deserve to be banned on both gens. And it's not like I bought next gen or current gen for that specific reason. 10 days is a little excessive. I will say that. 10 days is quite a long time. But again, if, if that's what 2K wants to do, that's what 2K wants to do. I just hate the fact that bands did not come out at the same time. That does not sit right with me. One bit. Not at all. You guys can let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'm guessing all you guys are banned on both current and next gen. I just hope you guys didn't go out and buy the opposite 2K because you thought you'd be unbanned. Because I know some people, and I hate to break it to you, but if you did, you literally probably got scammed. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.